Okay, guys, let us see how Allah is the devil. First thing, let's go back to chapter 2 again of the Quran, translated by Yusuf Ali. Chapter 2 of the Quran says this, according to verse 6. Chapter 2, verse 6. No matter how much you warn anybody about uh, coming to, to, to Islam, you will always and always and always at the end of the day will not believe. Why? Because it is the fault of Allah, according to what is here. We are going to be finding other verses, other passages again in the Quran, which are going to say Allah, he guides whom he wants to guide and then he misleads whom he wants to mislead. As we saw in uh, the video for uh, uh, chapter chapter 4, chapter 4 verse 100 and 150 50 something 162 where Allah himself he misled the entire Christians the entire Jews sorry he misled all of the Jews and then at the end of the day they believe in what they believe and then they are going to hell because whatsoever they decided to believe in Jesus Christ died on the cross they are the ones who actually believe that and then um, it was Allah's fault let's come quick to this place as to those who reject faith it is the same it is the same to them. Whether you warn them or you do not warn them, they will not believe. Allah had set a seal on their hearts and on their hearing and on their eyes is a vile. Uh, great is the penalty they, they incur. Okay. Great is the penalty coming to them. So what is plainly, what is standing here is as to those who have rejected faith, Allah has Allah is telling people here, yeah, whether you come and warn people like us Christians or you don't warn us, Allah is the one who has already set a seal on our heart and on our hearing and on our eyes so that we are not even going to believe. And then there is a penalty waiting for us coming very, very soon. So at the end of the day, guys, Muslims, stop the propaganda because it is useless. So if somebody does not believe as to those who reject faith it is the same to them whether you want them or not so they would not believe whether you want them or not they will not believe this thing is extremely dangerous because there is a huge contradiction thank you jesus there is a huge contradiction here why because if i have rejected faith today and any by any kind of means you see somebody who has rejected Islam. He comes to Islam one day. He decides to give his life to Allah. He decides to surrender and become a Muslim. Then there's a point in this verse. Because they rejected faith. Whether you want them or you don't want them, they will not believe. Is the phrase from Allah. At the end of the day, you see that same person surrendering his life and deciding to be a Muslim. Then there's a point in this chapter too. Guys, I don't know if you guys are understanding. For me, if somebody claims to be God, if somebody claims to be God, if you take the position of God, then you are all powerful. You should be all powerful. It means you should never contradiction, contradict yourself. You should never contradict yourself. If you are claiming to be God, you should be all-powerful. You should never contradict yourself. But what do we find here? We find Allah saying what? As to those who reject faith, it is the same whether you want them. If you want me or you don't want me, it is the same result. That's what he's saying. And they will not believe. But if you ever, as a Muslim, you have ever seen a video or you have ever seen somebody who had been rejecting faith, and suddenly that person came to Islam, Allah is a false God. Why? Because it was going to be the same consequences. There is already the punishment waiting for them. Allah has set a seal on their heart, has set a seal on their hearing. So it means their heart, they will not believe. Their hearing, they will not even listen. You will just be talking to them. It's just like you're singing lullaby for them to sleep. At the end of the day, they are going to be go to the, going to go to the punishment that has been set for them. So Allah is a false God as long as you see only one, one non-Muslim becoming Muslim. And there are multiple videos that I have seen of people claiming that they were non-Muslims, they were rejecting Islam, they were rejecting Islam, they were rejecting Muhammad, and then they suddenly became Muslims after some years. Allah is a false God because by one example, God can never contradict himself because of this verse. 
Gefühl halt zu Christ.